Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Royal Variety Performance, where laughter and entertainment reign supreme. I'm your host, bringing you all the highlights from this star-studded event that promises to leave you in stitches and, perhaps, a few surprises along the way. Our evening kicked off with the ever-charming Bradley Walsh who had the audience, including the Royal Highnesses, in fits of giggles. Bradley couldn't resist poking fun at his lack of MBE, OBE, or CBE, claiming they must have run out and jokingly blaming it on those rowing boats and TV bakers. I have appeared on five royal varieties and three other special events, all for Her Majesty the Queen. In fact, sir, I have worked for your great nan, your nan, your granddad, your dad, and now I'm working for you, sir and man. And I must say, Ask me if I've got an MBE. <laughs> go on. Go on. Have I got an MBE? No, no, I ain't got one. I ain't got one. No, I ain't got one. Ask me if I've got an OBE. Got an OBE, bro. Got an OBE, bro. No, no, I ain't got one of them. No, 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 no. Addressing Prince William, Bradley stumbled over the word highnesses, proposing a new title, Your Royal Heine. The playful banter had Kate and William in stitches, proving that even royals enjoy a good laugh. But not everyone was on board with Bradley's comedic style. X, formerly Twitter, was ablaze with opinions, with some branding his opening sketch as cringeworthy and boring. It seems Bradley's quest for a knighthood left some viewers less than amused. However, real tears of laughter were shed during Tom Allen's performance, capturing the audience and even Prince William wiping away tears. Laughter truly knows no boundaries. I'm not a robot. I promise I'm not a robot. Okay, we'll give you another chance. Try and read this joined-up handwriting. <laughs> you know robots can't read cursive script. Oh, fine. I think that's an H, or is it an ampersand? Is that an O, or is it a Q? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a joined-up X, or is it two twos back to back? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, robot. Oh, I promise I'm not a robot. Please give me one last chance. Okay, one last chance. Click on the box that says, I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot, you know robots can't lie. I clicked on the box, please now can I come on your toaster website? Now you can come on our toaster website. You go on the toaster website though, the first thing that happens is a pop-up comes up. It's this woman called Geraldine. She's got a sharp blonde bob and a headset on. She goes, hi, how can I help you? Geraldine's a blooming robot! <laughs> anyway. Now let's talk fashion. The royals entered the event in style with Kate donning a show-stopping gown featuring flared sleeves and statement shoulders. Prince William looked dashing in a classic black tuxedo, proving that royal fashion is always on point. Outside the hall, excitement reached a peak as crowds gathered for a glimpse of the royal arrival. Prince William and Princess Kate graciously met with ITV executives and the world's oldest supermodel, Daphne Self. Their exchange, filled with compliments and light-hearted banter, showcase the royals' down-to-earth charm. As we wrap up our coverage of the Royal Variety performance, we extend our gratitude to Bradley Walsh, the talented performers, and of course, the Royal Highnesses for gracing us with their presence. Until next time, keep laughing and spreading joy. What was your favorite moment from the Royal Variety performance? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the show. Subscribe for more exclusive content and stay tuned for the next Royal Affair. Until then, this is your host signing off with the Royal Wave.